Hi, this is Kathy Keller. Uh, and this is Tim Keller. And we are here to welcome you to the 2017 Young Life Gala. Young Life was started many years ago with the ministry of Bill Milliken here. And this year we're going to especially be honoring Bill. That happened many years ago, probably more years than Bill would like you to count. But we're actually old enough to uh, know how many years ago that is. And I guess that's one of the reasons why we're here. And right. Kathy is going to start by telling uh, you something about the importance of Young Life in her actual life and as a young person, as a teenager, and then after that I'll come back and tell you something about the importance of Young Life in the city. Well, actually Young Life, my Young Life uh, group and Bill Milliken actually have a connection. My Young Life leader was Ken, his brother, and it uh, emerged in our high school right at the time where I had just become a Christian myself. So it gave me my first taste of any kind of Christian community and Christian peers. And it was where Ken took us up to New York City to meet his brother Bill, but it gave me my first taste of New York because then there we were, a bunch of suburban club kids in New York City, let loose more or less, sleeping on the floors in the Lower East Side club kids and um, getting our first taste of intercultural experience. And your experience coming to New York was one of the reasons why it wasn't unthinkable for you it was. to move here. Young Life was sort of like um, a big help there. Oz. You know, it was the magic place. Right. When we moved to New York, our kids were 11, 9, and 5, our sons. And when our oldest sort of hit high school, we were looking for a young life in New York. And I guess it didn't look hard enough because it didn't find it. So looking a little further afield, I did see that there was a club out in New Jersey. And so for a whole year, we drove from Roosevelt Island to Midland, New Jersey, with my son David and his best friend Earl just so that they could attend a Young Life Club. And then that summer they went to Saranac, which was, as they always say, the most important week of your life. And it might have actually been. Uh, let me just add this, is uh, Young Life in New York City is extremely important because the kids of New York City grow up to take the jobs of New York City. And New York City is arguably the most influential single city in the world, influential to the culture, influential to the way in which life is lived in the world. Um, uh, young people are uh, wet cement. They are looking for meaning in life. They're looking for connection. Uh, and, and somebody's going to give it to them. Somebody's going to come in to them and say, here is uh, the way you ought to be living. This is, this is what you should be living for. Uh, for thoughtful, um, non-coercive, loving, uh, young life men and women to come to these uh, adolescents, to these teenagers and say, in a very open kind of way, this is one great option for you. This is, this is what's changed our life, Jesus Christ. And this would change your life and give you the things you're looking for. Um, that can have a huge impact on the kids of New York City and that could have a huge impact on the world. So the ministry is very, very important. It's been important to us personally. It continues to be important to the city and to the world. And so we're glad you're here.